the Democrats suck at messaging. Not only do they suck at messaging what just happened in Congress that they are in support of is effed up. While you're out here struggling to pay bills, struggling to pay bills, ain't had a real wage increase in years. Congress is giving themselves a raise by way of increasing their reimbursement benefits. House members didn't get a pay raise, but they did give themselves a big chunk of new benefits. Let's go to Chad Program live on Capitol Hill with more. Chad, what do you have? Good evening. It's politically impossible to approve a congressional pay raise, so the House quietly amended the House handbook. That makes members eligible for tens of thousands of dollars in reimbursements for rent, utilities, and meals while in Washington, D.C. Are members getting something extra on top of this, and is that politically a problem? No. Why not? It's a reimbursement. But, but talk about that. Couldn't people perceive that as, a, as an issue? I know that was something you, you argued for back in December. Uh, the effort to make sure that members are reimbursed for housing expenses has been uh, bipartisan in nature from the very beginning. D.C. is more expensive than many parts of the country. Members say it's important to compensate lawmakers if people want a legislature comprised of regular folks and not just the wealthy. Last year, a third of the Congress slept in their offices. Uh, that is not a healthy situation. Uh, it's also not reasonable to expect someone just by virtue of being elected to Congress to maintain two residences, one in their home state and one in Washington, D.C. Pay raises are in the eye of the beholder. So Congress did the next best thing. Someone's going to say, oh, you're doing something for yourself versus you're doing common sense. In this day of very partisan politics, will it be used against members? Bank on it. Congress allocated no extra money for the reimbursements. The money comes from the pool of funds members use to run their offices. Back to you. Are you struggling to pay your rent? Are you struggling to pay your utilities? Hell yeah. I'm disappointed in Hakeem Jeffries. He could have just admitted to it and explained what was happening. And then he could have twisted that shit around and said, we understand the struggles of the American people. That's why we were trying to increase the minimum wage to $15 an hour, but the Republicans voted against it. Prime opportunity missed by the Democrats.